Hey folks, hope you're having a great day wherever you are at. When should you practice centering prayer? So let's talk about that for a few minutes. Um, first thing I want to say though is, you know, let me help you create a long-term sustainable centering practice. Eliminate the roadblocks that get in the way of your practice and help you live from your true self, you know, which is the person God wishes you so contact me for a free consultation to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching in, in this space. Uh, God wants us to have an abundant life. You know, I've come that they may have life and have it to the full, uh, John 10.10. 10. So let's talk about when should you practice centering prayer. I always suggest for people that are new to the practice, make it the first thing you do as you begin your day. So if you're new and the idea of 10, 15, 20 minutes just sounds too daunting. Um, take baby steps. Make it one minute, two minutes, five minutes, but make it the first thing you do to begin your day, whatever day of the week that is, Monday through Sunday. And then after you sit, get on with your day. And then, and then over a period of 30 days or so, if you've established a habit and, and you're getting up and that is the first thing you're doing, increase the time frame as well. So uh, many people that I've spoken to uh, tell me five minutes is not as painful as, as they thought it was and it's not an eternity and it's not that bad. So increase the time from five to 10 to 15 to 20 minutes over time. But the most important thing to do is, is to start, show up, make it the first thing you do, and then over time, increase your time. And then, um, so once you have that down, then I always encourage people to add a second sit. You know, don't underestimate the power of a second sit and how powerful that can be. It's you and God reconnecting at some point later in the day resetting, refreshing, reconnecting with God. So for me, you know, my first sit is first thing in the, in the day before I do anything, no matter what day of the week it is. My second sit is right before lunch. You know, I'm fortunate that I can work from home, um, so right before lunch is my second sit. So I would encourage you to add a second sit and, and really listen to the ebbs and flows of your life and place the sit your sits where they belong so if, if you have a first of the morning sit and you're not sure about your second sit you know look at your life and place it where it best belongs when I first started practicing centering prayer my second sit was actually after dinner and then I began realizing it that wasn't the best place for it but the kids were younger and I wanted to I didn't want to take time away from them and away from my wife. So I actually ended up moving my second sit up from after dinner to before lunch. And at that time, this was pre-COVID, and I was working in an office, so my second sit actually was in my car. I would actually leave, leave my desk, go to my car, and sit in the driver's seat and do my second sit then. So really the most important thing to do is, you know, add a second sit, but really, for both sits, look look at your life, look at the ebbs and flows of your life, and place you know your sits where they best belong. But don't underestimate the power of a second sit. You know, I need that second sit. That second sit, the first sit gets me going, and it starts me, connects me to God, connects me to life, and gets me going. My second sit, you know, many hours later, reconnects me again to God, reconnects me to life. Um, and gets me going for the second half of the day so I can have a tremendous second half of the day just like the first half of the day. So listen to the ebbs and flows of your life. Place your sits where they belong. If life changes, change when you do your sits. For example, a uh, number of years back work was really busy for me and I needed more than two sits. So what I did was I added a third sit but I shortened the sits. So I would have my morning sit before I did anything. I would have my second sit right before lunch. And then about two hours later at about 3 p.m. I did a third sit. But what I did was each sit was, um, instead of being 20 minutes, was 13 minutes. And then when, um, and I needed those sits. Work was really chaotic and stressful. 
when work calmed down and I felt a lot more caught up, I moved back to my two sets of first thing in the morning of 20 minutes and then right before lunch of 20 minutes. So really just look at your life, look at the ebbs and flows of your life, place your sits where they best belong. If life changes, change when you do your sit. And if life becomes super chaotic and you think you need a third sit, add a third sit and just flex, be flexible with how long you sit. Or if you can sit the full 20 minutes and you need three 20 minute sits, do that as well. Simply look at your life and, and let it tell you and dictate to you when you need to do the sits and how many sits you might need to do. And I'll also talk about a mini sit. I, I also encourage people to take a mini sit. So this could be a couple minute sit. For example, I don't like going to the doctor. It, it just seems to make me anxious. And I, and I always arrive early. So I, in the parking lot of the doctor's office, I'll take a one to three minute sit and then I'll walk in. Or before an important meeting or important task at work, just to calm myself down and get myself ready for the meeting or, or for the task. I'll do a one, two, or three minute centering prayer sit. So you can do the same thing at any time. You can take a mini sit when needed just to slow down, calm yourself down, reconnect yourself to God, reconnect yourself to life. So I hope you found that helpful. Just wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, when should you practice centering prayer and share from my own experiences. And again, you know, let me help you create a long-term sustainable centering prayer practice. You know, let me help you eliminate the roadblocks um, that get in the way of your practice. And let me help you um, discover your true self uh, and live from your true self, the person God wants you to be. Because that's what we do with our centering prayer sits. We, we sit with God and then we get up and walk with God. So feel free to reach out to me for a uh, free consultation just to learn more about uh, working with me on a one-on-one -on -one relationship. And we'll talk and we'll see if, it's a, if it makes sense and if it's a fit for you. That's it. Hope this was helpful for you. If you have anything you want to share, feel free to put them in the comments. Otherwise, I'm going to sign off and... Uh, Enjoy the evening with my eye, my my wife. Much love to all of you. Have a great evening or day where, wherever you're at. Much love to all of you. Take care.